Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Weebly Brunch Crew. Today I have Leandra. Oh. This is Leandra. She is in, I forget, oh I forget her name. She is by Ashton Drake for sure and she is one of those breathing babies. And she has a heartbeat too. Let's see. She is a nice size. Let's see, and her button. Can you hear that? Isn't that cool? And her her face. <laughs> she is so peaceful. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not here to show her. I do have videos about her if you're interested. And I'm pretty sure I have a box opening. If I could find where her oh, it's just right here. Okay, I'm here today to do a tag, and I wrote them on this paper. If you've seen that on my armchair, <clears throat> wait, sorry, I'm coughing a little bit. I originally saw this tag on Linda's. Um, I almost called her her old name, Linda's Romper Room. And hi, Linda. <laughs> um, she did a tag that I watched this morning. I thought that was a lot of fun. So she did a tag by that was started by the Doll Attic official. Now I had a look at my notes because I just subbed to her today. So. Yay! And she replied to me and she said she uh, subbed to me too, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, she has a 15 question tag. And I'll lower you so you can see Leandra. And I will add, oh, I feel weird not looking at you though. Okay, how can I do this? I'll put her up here. She does have armatures in her arms. So that's why. Oh, she's cute. But she doesn't look comfy. Mm. Okay. Number one, what is your favorite color? Mine is light pink. I love that color. I always have. There was a time when I was like 15, 16, 17, when back in the 80s, if you were an older girl liking light pink, baby pink, then you were a baby. <laughs> so, um, that was considered a little girl's color, and I didn't want that stigmatism, so I started liking light purple, and I liked light purple for the rest of my adult life until this hobby which I only discovered in 2015. I didn't collect any dolls before that time. And I always loved light purple, like the lilacs. Lilac. I love lilacs. I love the smell. I love the color. But light pink is definitely what I love best. Number two, my favorite ice cream flavor. You know what, guys? She's heavy. Leandra, I have to... Just set you down. Oh, my back. <laughs> yeah, I'm so thankful that I don't have real babies to contend with when you have a bad back. It's horrible when you do have real toddlers and real babies that you have to pick up when you have a bad back. Anyways, my favorite ice cream flavor definitely chocolate now there is this one particular um 
like a Dairy Queen. I'm pretty sure the States has a Dairy Queen. But here in Canada, they're called Blizzards. And, and there's a certain flavor called Triple Brownie Explosion. It's chocolate ice cream with brownie bits and chocolate syrup. So good. Chocolate. <clears throat> um, number three, what's my favorite movie of all time? Oh my goodness, I am a movie fanatic, and I love many genres of of them. <laughs> so hard. Now, I always had a top three list. So hard to choose one. Okay, here's my top three. The Karate Kid original series um, from the 80s. Or the Star Wars trilogy from the 80s. Or <laughs> Aliens Part 2. Now, there is an Alien series as well. There's a part... One, two, three, and four, and then there's Alien Covenant, and then there's also Alien Prometheus. I own them all, but part two has always been my fave. I love. I also love so many other movies like comedies, um, like <laughs> Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I love that movie. Working Girl. I love that movie here. With Harrison Ford. Oh my goodness, there's so many movies. Now, if I could choose a movie right now to watch, I don't know. I kind of, I was hank I was hankering to watch The Shining the other day. <laughs> we always make fun of that. I have a group of friends who also love horror. It's so funny. We always say, oh, we need a relaxing movie, a relaxing movie. And why do we choose a thriller? <laughs> the Shining relaxes me. <laughs> Anyways, I would choose, um, it's probably Aliens Part 2. Alien Part 2. <clears throat> yes, but I love so many genres. Um, Mamma Mia is a favorite of mine. All, oh, I love that movie. It depends on what mood I'm in. Um, for comedy, lately has been Tammy. <laughs> I love that movie. Um, for inspiration, <sighs> there's so many movies. Anyways, I'm not going to go on any further. <laughs> I have too many favorite movies of all time. Um, if you were on a deserted island and you only had one item to have with you, what would it be? That is question number four. Um, that, um, can, can just a whole forsaken kit consider as one item <laughs> It's a kid, the survivor kid, a kid. <laughs> um, hmm. it would probably be a knife because with a knife, you can use it to build a shelter, you can try it with a rock, you can try and get a fire going, you can split wood, you can, like. If you catch anything using like your knife to make a net. Anyways, another passion of mine is survival techniques. So just to put that out there. I love that stuff. Okay. <laughs> Number five. What's your favorite perfume? Um there's two by Avon. I don't know. Avon has been in the family for years and years and years, but there is a rare pearls that I love. It smells good on me. And my number one favorite is Sweet Honesty by Avon. And it smells a lot like baby. And besides, it smells my grandmother used that scent and yeah. Memories. Um 
Number six, your favorite shade of lipstick. I don't wear lipstick, but if I would, like I I do rarely, but if I do, it would be a shade that I already have. And a lot of those colors are like the rose colors. Anything to do with a rose color, I like dark rose, natural, the rose, <laughs> anything rose. I like a, a mauve color, looks nice too. Number seven, curly or straight hair? You mean what I have? I have wavy hair actually. Um, I do I do blow dry it straight, but if I would let it air dry, it would get like really wavy. Not quite curly curly, but definitely wavy. I think I have like well you can't really tell. I just blow dry my hair, so I blow dry it straight. <clears throat> now how do I prefer it? Any anyway, I'm not really particular on my hair. Because um, I I used to, for years and years, I would grow my hair really long and cut it and then donate it. And then I'd choose a hairstyle and then i grow it again, cut it, choose a different hairstyle, like really short, and then grow it. And it went on for years and years and years. So I always know that no matter what I do with my hair, it will grow back. Um, I've been cutting my own hair a lot lately. And I haven't been donating it because I do color it and it's, there's a lot of grays and I don't know if it's true anymore, but back in the 90s and late 80s and early 2000s, they didn't want the gray hair because it's a different texture. So I don't know, it's probably now they would accept thicker hair. So like that core, like my hair is really thick. So my gray hair is like fishing line, like no joke, it's really, maybe that's what they told me, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> anyways, just rambling, that's a habit of mine, I ramble. Number eight, do you like, what, oh, tattoos on your man, um, my guy, Francis, he does have a tattoo, but it's an old-fashioned kind. It's like the blue ink, like old-fashioned, like the one color. I do like it, and it's very small. It's up on here, like on here. It's very, very small. He does want another tattoo someday. And I'm not sure. I have a lot of tattooed friends that are colored, and it looks good, like, I don't mind it on you, but I don't want one. And as for Francis, he could do whatever he wants. If he wants one, go for it. But he already has one, just a little passion kind, and I do like it. So number nine, high school crush. <sighs> I had a crush on a guy from grade, let's see. 9 all the way through 12. And look up Eric Stoltz. And he looks exactly like that. Exactly. Except for he had. He had. He was a skater boy. um, And they kind of grew their hair long. But as long as he had it. It was maybe down to here. But most of the time it was cut like like this. And shaved at the thing in the back stuff. Anyways, but when I discovered Eric Stoltz in the movies, um, Some Kind of Wonderful was the first one, and then he was also in The Fly Part 2 that I really enjoyed. That's all I like to watch. <laughs> Number 10, uh, what would you do, or what would you, what would you do in your past? I'm pretty sure she said, what will you change about your past? And me, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I had a perfect life. But I mean, you live and grow from life's lessons. And I wouldn't change any of my life's lessons. 
I've been through like poverty. I've been through, um, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it, but I learned a lot. Let's just say, and I wouldn't give up. I wouldn't give that up. I wouldn't give up my wisdom that I know now. Number 11. Do you like dogs or cats? I like both, but for sure I love dogs more. If I could choose if I could choose to have a dog or a cat, I'd pick a dog. Number 12. Most favorite song. Another one like the movie thing. I like many genres of songs as well. But there is one particular song that if I hear, no matter what mood I'm in, sad, angry, happy, lonely, um, in a happy, giddy mood, in like feeling wonderful, feeling crappy, no matter what song, when this song plays, I immediately feel relaxed and so good. <laughs> but is by Donovan and the song is called Hurdy Gurdy Man by Donovan. Now I think there was a remake in a certain movie but I didn't see the movie I just heard about it but this is the original Hurdy Gurdy Man by Donovan back in the 70s. Um what else? Number 13 favorite pizza toppings. I love all meat. That's pepperoni, salami, um, bacon, and ham. And if there's sausage on there too, I don't, but I can live without the sausage. But basically, pepperoni, salami, ham, and bacon. It's my favorite. Oh, I'm starting to cough. Um, number 14, football or baseball? I like watching football if I have to. Francis loves football. We are a football family. Meaning we like to watch it. But um wait. When I was younger I used to play baseball. And it wasn't really my favorite either. <laughs> so if I had to choose I'd pick football. And the last one, number fifteen. What is your alter ego? If you had one. Last question. What is my alter ego if I had one? For me, it would be so We're going to have a supper right away. Yay, I can't wait. Anyways, guys, I hope that you have a good day. Thank you so much for being here. It was a lot of fun for this day. And the Doll Attic official. I have subbed. Have you subbed to her? I am looking forward to your content. And Linda, I always enjoy your channel. Linda's proper room. You know what? You should get one of those mirrors. I see. I see Linda. I see Brenda. Anyways, I have to go. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye for now. See you.